So the question of the day, Ian, what do you think about 5G? For those of you that don't know, I'm a tower climber. I climb cell phone towers and install the cellular equipment that allows you to keep scrolling. And I'm currently in 5G training. And uh, I was already concerned about this technology before getting in there and actually learning some of the science about it. So let me give you some of the science about it. The radio frequency that our towers currently emit is non-ionizing radiation with a long footprint over the ground so it's able to dissipate and spread out. Right? It's currently being broadcast anywhere from like 1.5 to 2.5, 2.8 megahertz. Right. Up close, if you if you if you take radio frequency close, it superheats the water molecules in your brain, eyes, and testicles. Right. So that it's a very real thing. You could render yourself sterile or with a splitting headache for days, or a you know, I cooked the top of my skull and left me useless for the rest of the day. Right. And that's at short range, at, at a relatively low power. The way 5G is going to work is it is going to broadcast one in gigahertz, not megahertz. We're talking about 30 plus gigahertz they're estimating, which means 15,000 times stronger than what we're pushing out right now. And it's going to actually go at a much much steeper peak is going to almost be broadcast straight at the ground to hit more receivers that are gonna, then going to transmit it outwards. Right. The plan is to install these small cells on the billboards and street lights, sides of buildings, in the corner of your office building or in the hallway of your apartment complex so that they can get lightning fast speeds. Well here's the thing. The RF that we've been broadcasting isn't really damaging to you, though they can't tell the long-term effects. But because it dissipates over distance and it's not a concentrated thing, the, the radio frequency we're broadcasting now has a really long wave trough. All right? So even if you're getting hit with it, you're not absorbing a lot. That's why I, if I take it close range, I eat it, but you don't feel it down off the tower. It's not going to be that way with 5G. It's going to be in the corner of your office. We're talking about putting a 38 band MIMO antenna in the back of every car so that they can talk to each other and self drive. Now, the 5G, its waveform is much tighter, where 4G, 3G, and 2G have fairly long wave troughs so that we can reach distances and have a greater footprint coming off the tower it's not necessarily 5G it's going to be it's going to be broadcast in what's called a millimeter wave which is much more tightly focused with much closer wave troughs so when it does hit you just get blasted and it's not miles away hundreds of feet up on a tower anymore it's in the corner of your office which means that this millimeter wave is going to be able to directly affect the cellular membranes, the bonds that hold your cells together. It's going to be in your face. It's going to be behind the back seat where your car seats are. So I mean, not to mention what it's going to do to your brain and your eyes and your testicles or ovaries just from the superheating that radio frequency will do at a close range but because it is so powerful so compact and tightly beamed it is literally going to be able to break down the bonds that hold your cells together and that's how you get tumors the rub of it is America that you're not going to know what I did to you for another 15-20 years and by then it's going to be too fucking late. It already is. They've got trillions tied up in this 5G push.
People are screaming for faster phones. Everybody wants to be able to scroll at the speed of light. There's no stopping it. And what am I going to do, right? This is my job. You know, hey, I got t kids to take care of. I got my own chemo treatments 30 years from now that I'm going to have to deal with. So, yeah, I'm going to install it. But America, I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm fixing to pull your feelings out for the gold before I put you in a gas chamber. America doesn't care. They want faster phones. You carry eventually and it'll be too late. But God bless you. God bless America. I wish you the best. Feel free to name your tumor after me. I'm real sorry about what it's fixing to do to the babies. Hey. Little fetuses that are developing in utero, surrounded by water. The consequences to the next generation are untold. I'm not even talking about what we're fixing to do to our own vision, our own reproductive organs, our own cognitive abilities. I'm not talking about the breakdown of our cellular bonds that are going to lead to tumor growth. I'm talking about what it's going to do to the little baby brains and eyes that are trying to develop in the womb. What we're fixing to do to toddlers and infants that are born that are still developing, man. So the question of the day is, Ian, what do you think about 5G? I'm frightened and saddened because I'm going to install this. I'm going to install it everywhere.